new, be sure to subscribe. You can hit the little red button down below or you can click the link that's in the description box. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. It's new content, it's very exciting. I purchased some really cool Rasta, which is such a weird name, it's like Rastafari, but I purchased some Rasta nightstands from Ikea. They're gorgeous and so beautiful. They are really amazing and they came ready to paint which is awesome. I didn't have to sand them or anything. And I wanted to create a really nice, cool, and just comforting and cozy bedroom. So when I got these nightstands, I definitely had a idea in mind, which changed a little bit and shifted, but I ended up stopping at my local Home Depot and I picked up a Sherwin-William color and I painted the nightstands and I think they came out gorgeous and I decorated them a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys the journey and how I painted it and also how I decorated the tops of them. If you guys want to see how I styled my nightstands and how I completed the DIY make sure to keep watching and if you like the video at the end make sure to give it a huge thumbs up it helps out my channel so much and um, yeah so let's get into it so like I had mentioned before I did go to my local Home Depot and pick out a gorgeous creamy Sherwin-Williams color that they mixed for me and I just started with this really clean and sleek dresser it is the rasta from ikea all of the information will be linked below as well as where you can find it and the price but i thought it was great because it was ready to paint no sanding or priming needed they also mixed in the color in this bare premium plus ultra paint and it is a paint and primer in one which was really great and it saved a lot of time so like i said this paint was from home depot as you can see their logo and i just shook the little canister because it was small enough for me to do that by hand and you just want to take a screwdriver and gently pop the top to the paint. Um, it did take me a little while to do and I actually switched the screwdrivers that I was using. You want to make sure you use a flat head for this. So what I did was just place the paint can on top of the dresser and I dipped in my brush to make sure that there was enough paint on it. I suggest using a very new and very clean brush, although this worked, it wasn't my first choice. And just make sure that you go with the grain instead of against it. So on the top, as you can see, I am just going back and forth with the grain and it makes it come out a little more even and it just makes it look more smooth instead of going up and down. Um, the paint seeps better into the different lines instead of if you went against the grain. I love how this paint came out. I think it was beautiful. I did end up using three coats on the tops, the sides, and the front of the drawers and everything else. I just painted two coats on because the wood really soaked up the paint very well. So if you are looking for a dresser that does keep the color pretty well and distributes it, very evenly and beautifully then I would suggest purchasing these Rasta dressers from Ikea. On the front you just want to make sure that you're going back and forth in a horizontal line to make sure that you are again going with the grain and yeah this step was just really easy and I think it came out really gorgeous and beautiful. You definitely want to make sure that you do more coats than less coats because you want to make sure that you can't see the wood underneath unless you like that look and really you can customize this dresser to look like anything you want. You don't have to use a cream color that I use from Sherwin William. You can use more of a natural color or a tan color or something like that. On the sides of the drawers, you want to make sure you're painting up and down as well. Um, I went down a little more than I went up and then on the sides, you just want to make sure that you're painting up and down as well because that is how the grain falls on the dresser. And this is the outcome. I didn't add any knobs or anything because I wanted to pick out some custom ones instead of using the ones they gave me, but you can just opt in for those and I think this came out really beautiful and it bounces really gracefully off of the crisp white walls that we have in our bedroom and I just think that it complements our bedding and our curtains. Now for the fun part is styling the dresser. I added this really glamorous lamp that I also purchased from Target on top along with some trinkets and a nice picture frame. In the first couple drawers I just have some personal items like some books I've been reading, my journal, some lotion, little things like that, my pajamas, and then in the third drawer I actually keep lotions and candles that are extra and you can really style this however you want 
and you can make it match your bedroom perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.